I chose Sheffield because it was such a such a friendly city. A really, um, really, it seemed like a really fun place to go to uni, and I loved the people. I loved the whole atmosphere. Um, I also loved the fact it was a really green city as well. I think one of my highlights about my sort of time in Sheffield is how inspiring the city is itself. Being so close to the Peak District gave us so much opportunity through the course, but also independently to explore the natural landscape, but also the city centre and the gold route and all the sort of inspiring urban spaces. Just fantastic place to study. The landscape architecture course at Sheffield was just such a diverse course and sort of prepared me really well for setting up my own business. They gave me a whole range of skills from um, sort of planning and knowing about the legal kind of side of things all the way through to kind of planting design and things like that. The tutors and lecturers were all so inspiring and encouraging the whole, whole time and still are now. I work as a landscape architect and I run my own small uh, landscape architecture firm we specialise in domestic garden design and planting design but we also work for a number of commercial clients as well all, all across South Wales. Um, my husband Joe, who also studied at Sheffield now works with me too and um, we've got another two part-time employees as well. I feel really lucky to do a job that I just absolutely love. Um, being able to work outside is just amazing. I feel really lucky and um, just being able to be creative and just do what I've trained to do and what I really enjoy. So I used to be really nervous in sort of standing up and talking about my ideas and presenting. I used to just absolutely clam up and be terrified but I think through loads of practice and encouragement of the sort of tutors in the department and getting used to design presentations. I now actually really look forward to presenting designs to clients, um, even though sometimes it's still a bit nerve-wracking. And I've even been asked to sort of talk at conferences to 200 plus people. And that's something I never in a million years thought I'd be able to do before. We're really lucky that actually we get to return to Sheffield um, a couple of times a year. We've got some close friends that still live up there, so we still get to see the city, but it's not really the same as when we were students. It always makes me feel a little bit nostalgic. Um, I really miss in particular sort of working in the Arts Tower late into the night, um, sort of around deadline time, sort of having fun with my mates in the studio. It was always a good sort of community spirit.